Hello, this is Bino. I'm an arborist and a certified tree worker. What we're talking about today is tree site inspection. It's one of the most important things you can do if you're a climber to inspect the tree before you're going to climb. It'll make sure that when you climb it, you'll have a safer climb. And also it'll be in line with what the ISA would like to see on their tree worker exam. Let's get to it. So now we're going to the section or the category of tree site inspection. And if you're taking the ISA exam, what you would do is you'd be called over to the tree and your evaluator would basically just say, perform a tree site inspection. Okay, so with that, you wouldn't want to just um, stand there, like stand at a certain point, look at the tree and just stand and name everything that you think is wrong with the tree or, you know, you just wouldn't want to do that. In the inspection, the evaluators want you to actually demonstrate a full-on inspection. Like if you were at work and you're going to climb a tree and you want to get to know the tree before you climb. So things that they would want you to do is to, from a distance, look at the tree and then you're going to look for different things. You're going to look for um, uh, structural defects and from a distance you might not be able to see any structural defects. Um, definitely want to look for power lines or electrical, any kind of thing like that. And then you're going to look for like vehicular traffic, pedestrians, um, traffic, maybe obstacles. And then you want to go further and see any of the structural defects or call them out if you see them in the tree. So to stand there and just say, um, tree looks good, you'll, you'll be marked points. So in this um, category, you could lose six points and six points is pretty big. So you want to do your best to make sure that you don't lose points during this section. It's not pass fail, but you can lose up to six points. Really important to do your best at in inspecting the tree. Um, so what you will want to do, we'll start, we'll say that this is the tree. They name the tree. You're going to look from it from a distance. You're going to say from from here. I don't see any electrical lines. That's one of the most important things that you want to, to pay attention to. So then you're gonna start walking to the tree and you're gonna get closer to it. As you're walking, you wanna make sure that you're checking out the ground, what's around it. <clears throat> so when we get closer, <clears throat> when I get to the tree, I'll still continue to look for any kind of electrical. So some trees might have service drops, and even if you don't see it, you know, we, we don't know you. The evaluator doesn't know the person who's going to climb, but we want to know that they're looking for the things that are around, even if they don't see it. So you've already said there's no electrical lines, and now you're going to look through. There's no electrical lines like service drops going through, or there's no conduit on the tree that would supply electricity. So you're going to look for, um, now you're going to walk around the tree. You don't want to just stand in one spot because you don't have a visual. So I'm going to walk around. I'll do a little bit more. I'm going to look at the canopy, the structure branches, and I'm still just kind of scoping it out. I'm not really deep into an inspection, but I do have to have a whole look around this tree to make sure that I see everything about it. So now I've already done my once around and now I can better judge the tree. So I'm gonna mention, hey, there's a structure I have to worry about. There's a sidewalk near the area. There's no um, streets, so I don't have to worry about vehicles. Now I'm gonna start looking at the tree. Now for me, I like to look at the structure of a tree. So you get closer to the trunk and you can see on this tree, there's a big girdling root, okay? So it is a defect, but this girdling root is not something that I'm really concerned about because it still looks solid. So now after I've um, said that there is a girdling root, I'm going to circle again around the tree and I'm going to look at the base all the way around. I'm looking for uprooted roots or cavities. If I don't see cavities, I'll say there's none. Make sure there's none. Now after I've done the root flare and that looks good, I'll mention that the root flare looks good. Now I'm going to start looking at the trunk. So I'm going to look at the trunk this trunk looks really solid. Now, if there was a hole or a cavity, you would want to call it out. That is a structural defect. So you would call out, hey, there's here, you, it's, it's a cavity, but 
The tree looks still solid. I can continue to, I can climb. I'll go from the roots. I've seen the trunk. Now I'm gonna go to the branches. I'm gonna look at the structure of the branches. So I've already done my once around a couple of times. I'm looking at the structure of it. There's no broken branches. There's no cavities. I don't see any pests. There's no like raccoon nests or bees or wasps. So that all looks clear. Now, if you're on site and you notice that there's a big broken branch, you do want to mention that, you know, you know, look up, notice if there's any broken branches, because that could be a mark. If there's a, something that's real visible and you don't call it, they can mark you for the, on that part of the inspection. So you could lose a point. So now that you've done all of that, you've looked at the canopy, you've named all of those things. Now go through your mind real quick. Make sure that you've um, labeled everything that you wanted to label. And then you let that uh, evaluator know that the tree looks safe to climb and I'm ready to do my climb. So there you have it. That's a tree site inspection of a tree. So remember that when you're doing the inspection, firstly, you wanna remember that you're gonna look for all the different defects in the tree. So that's, you know, from the roots to the trunk and all through the canopy. So that's one thing you want to make sure you get that set. The next section is now you're going to look for things that are structural. Could be, well, definitely going to be electrical lines. And even if you don't see electrical lines, you're going to call it out that you don't see electrical lines. Also structures could be park benches. It could be a walking path, could be um, meter boxes in the ground. Anything that will affect the way you're around the tree that you want to name. Next, you're going to go to um, like worker, like other obstacles, say like pedestrians in the area, um, other workers, other things you want to name that also. The very last thing you want to think about now you're, you know, you'd probably be under the tree and you're looking if you actually see defects, you want to call those out defects. It could be even nest. It could be um, bees, something like that you want to name out. You go through all those steps and then you finish it off by just in running through your mind real quick. And then you let that evaluator know that your inspection is complete. So there you go. That's the full on tree site inspection. I hope this was helpful. Comment, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. Take care. We'll see you next time.